So one of my kids' uh, after-school tutors is due to arrive any second now. So expect this video to be interrupted by two spaniels that are currently asleep underneath the desk, exploding into a torrent of vicious spaniel barking. But I digress. <clears throat> Rational developer RDI, the IBM I code development tool of choice. A, I really like it. B, it could be much better. C, it's ridiculously overpriced. D, I had to buy it anyway. Ugh. So I've been using RDI for a couple of years now. Um, lots of people spend a lot of time in SEU before making the jump to RDI. And once you've started using it for code development, there's really no going back to terminal mode code development. It's the difference between writing something in Notepad versus writing something in Word and PowerPoint mixed together. <laughs> Completely different thing. Anyway, here I am. This is the blog I'm about to record uh, about Rational Developer for IBM i Screen Emulator. It really can't get any easier. Of course, most of us will have our laptops when we travel around. We'll have our emulator of choice installed. Q, look at all the other lessons down below on this course. <clears throat> choose the one or if you are lucky enough to be running RDI which I'm going to launch right now if you're lucky enough to be running RDI it comes with a built-in emulator which simply works so while you're editing source it uh, brings up the connection so look, this is RDI let me maximize it so we can see everything not very much going on in this view is there so uh, this is actually the turnover view for uh, turnover change management so Let's go look at my remote systems. Here we have Pub 400 connected. Um, and again, Pub 400 is my system name. I've added the connection on the left hand side. Um, you can see that I'm poking around in my Litten libraries doing things so I could, you know, <clears throat> edit some RPG source or do whatever the heck it is that I want to do. Um, it's a little bit slow. I'm talking to Germany. You will get faster. There's some really old crappy code. Oh dear. Anyway. If I'm here and I'm looking at some code and suddenly I think, oh, I want to go and have a look at this file because there's something that I can't do in the IDE, I can just right click on the system name, go down to host connection emulator. It comes up and says, well, my, my connection details were defaulted in because I've connected to here before. <clears throat> I'll show you in a second. <clears throat> but that's it, boom, straight on. So just like all the other examples I've got here, all it asks you for is the system name, the port number, and whether you use SSL, all of the standard stuff, and whether you want to save your password and all that jazz. And you're in, and it looks just like any other screen emulator. And of course, you can maximize it, or we can make it fill the whole screen, or we can revert it back. The really nice thing about this is I can do something within the screen emulator here, and then I can flick back into my source code to make changes then just flick back all within the same environment so if I'm writing code I tend to use this emulator and just switch between them and doing things if I'm signing on to do stuff and run programs and all that kind of jazz I generally have multiple sessions that's where I use IBM I ACS because of its multiple sessions tag um, I'm not even too sure if I can do multiple let's try let me try and do a multiple host connection emulator I must admit, I've never, ever tried to do more than one. Um, no. <laughs> it looks like it hasn't done it. <clears throat> and I'll share the connection properties quickly. So here's, here's my connection. It looks like you only have one sign-on session. That's okay for me. And the host properties here is where I say the details of what I'm connecting on the screen. Here I have my IP address. Um, the host port that I'm connecting to, my size, I prefer 27132 as I've said previously, and I can turn on various other details about the connection um, and record macros to sign on and do something and sign off. And of course, at any time, if I want to uh, disconnect from the system, I'm a nice programmer, so I always sign off <clears throat> before disconnecting. I can just go here and say, disconnect. It says, are you sure? I say, yes, please and my host connection has gone. It's that simple. It's pretty good, works neat, um, no complaints from me. So just go to file, oh no sorry, so you right click on the system that you want to connect to, 
go down to host connection em emulator click it and it will log you in that's that